the next one uh, it's uh, from a student from our uh, 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 let's go. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, so uh, Matsuiko and I will be going to talk about a computational model based on human cognitive functions. Uh, firstly, I will talk about a lexical lexical acquisition from unsegmented sentences based on cross-gestional learning. Uh, in in this firstly, uh, in this study, uh, we think how infants acquire their lexicons. Uh, how infants get words and their meanings. Uh, it is known that uh, infants learn word meanings with co-occurrence of words and sensory information. Uh, this is called cross-gestional learning. However, uh, human infants not only uh, not uh, human, uh, however, linguistic information like uh, spoken sentences are not segmented. So human infants uh, not only use cross-gestional cross learning, but also uh, segment sentences to achieve uh, cross-gestional learning. In, so uh, we aim to develop lexical acquisition model like infant development with uh, segmenting sentences into words and learning word meaning based on CSL. So to achieve uh, this goal, uh, this study based on two methods. Uh, first is uh, NPYLN. Uh, it is an unsupervised method. Uh, this method can segment sentences into words like that uh, without uh, supervised data. And second is uh, CSLPGM. Uh, it is a compu computational model of cross-gestional learning. Uh, this method uh, infers uh, when this method receives uh, sensory information and words. Uh, this method can infer word meanings and their sensory categories. For example, uh, red is uh, the color, the word of color attributes, and uh, more specifically, uh, this word uh, linked to red, reddish objects. Then uh, in this study, uh, those me uh, proposed methods uh, is developed by integration uh, between uh, CSLPGM and NPYLM. Uh, in the proposed method, uh, NPYLM and CSLPGM pass probabilistic information each other and uh, realize the whole model's inference. Uh, moreover, uh, my proposed method considers the words and not linked to sensory information. Uh, this extension allowed models to reduce effects on learning word meaning uh, the effects of, uh, sorry, uh, for example, uh, the actual sentences contains uh, functional words like this and is or there are some segmentation error like blue ox, for example. Uh, those, were, those words, those substrings uh, does not link to sensory information. So if, so, uh, so as the model, uh, cons model reduce effects on those words uh, by considering, uh, considering those words. And then, like, uh, so for example, a uh, box is an uh, object, the word of object, and those words, box or lead, it must, uh, must should a uh, link to sensory information, but this or a is or a box is should not link to, linked to uh, those sensory information. So this model considers that. And uh, then uh, we uh, conducted experiments to examine the proposed model. Uh, the model acquired with a data set which is contains both of 
sensory information and linguistic information like that. And then this presentation focuses on co correspondence of words and attributes. Uh, this heat map shows a frequency of attributes assigned words. Uh, the vertical axis indicates attributes, uh, A, P, O, C, M, action, position, object, and color attributes. And uh, X means the attributes are not link, linked to sensory information. And, and uh, horizontal axis uh, indicates uh, words. Uh, first, uh, when we focus on the words linked to sensory information, uh, I call that grounded words. Uh, most of grounded words is assigned appropriate assigned uh, appropriate attributes. For example, a uh, hold or stare is uh, assigned to action categories, and a uh, blue line red is assigned to categories. Second, uh, let us focus on ungrounded words. Uh, it is it is the words not linked to sensory information. Uh, in this case, uh, function words like may or can and segmentation errors like uh, bot scheme or of clothes are assigned attribute X probably. However, uh, contrary to my expectation, expectations, some words assigned other attributes. Uh, for example, uh, those are also ungrounded words. Uh, our is a functional word, so it should be assigned uh, attribute X. So, but uh, this heat map shows that uh, our is uh, inferred as position attribute words. This seems to be caused by the bias of data set. The model gets the co-occurrence of our and positional information. So in the data set, uh, the word our and positional information is a uh, co had was co-occurrence. So, so the model around uh, those, those correspondence and uh in fact, that our is a word of position attribute. So it is conclusion. So I developed a lexical question model based on cross-gestional la learning. And the future plan, uh, this model is one agent model. So I will extend uh, this model to agent model for development of symbol emergence model. So next, uh, Matsuki will be present. Thank you. And uh, we don't have uh, much to have time for Q and A. So if any questions or comments, uh, put it in, into the chat box or write directly onto the uh, program, please. 